welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and after a very brief trip back uh, significantly far in time, we have returned to the Ring of Iron of the universe of Warhammer 40,000. At last! I can pick this thing up. Jeez, I remember I needed to be on the other side. I don't remember why. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's this hot mess. Well, I'm standing right here. Ah, stuck. And I might complain about that if not for the fact I've gotten stuck on the uh, the regular scaffolding in the main game a bunch of times. Shout out to Elthwar, who says, and this is a. Uh, Curiously reminiscent of the Doom Guy thing I mentioned a few videos ago. In a way, Duke Nukem would fit well into the 40k verse without too much effort. Not perfectly, mind you, but I can see some Imperial Elite soldiers acting like him, trying to imitate the overly macho gunfighter with disrespect for his enemies that he mows down constantly. If he is successful, is a different question. Also, shout out to Justin Jones, who says a Heretech version of Engine, engine Seer Power Wash should see his Power Washer melded to his body, complete with appropriate mutations. And, uh, finally, shout out to Yornick, who says Main Wing, huh? More like Main Wang Turn On. <laughs> bow. He actually wrote Bow Chicka Wow Wow. Uh, I should say they. Um,. Also, I don't know jack about Warhammer, but I've heard somewhere that the orcs are sort of based on the British football hooligans. You know, the firms of which beat each other up all remorseless-like. Their other activities include vandalism, drinking lots of booze, and being generally thick as shit. That actually makes a weird kind of sense. I remember hearing, reading recently that, uh, before they charge in a battle, it's not at all unlikely to hear the orcs psyching themselves up by chanting, Here we go, here we go, here we go! Which sounds strangely similar to some stuff I've heard of British football hooligans doing. Sanguinius. This one reads. So this, uh, that one says Blood Angels. What do the other one on this side say? God damn it. Sanguinius. Notice when I look at those uh, replay videos that it never seems to have gaps. I'm always cleaning, which makes me wonder if it only records when I'm consciously like blasting water into the uh, the target or you know cleaning. Kind of thought I got that belt like 40 videos ago, but sure, sure.
I had a friend who was really into uh, Warhammer stuff. Actually played the game, for starters. Like the tabletop game, I mean. Go. I think that's all the chapter emblems. I should mention that this friend, uh, played, uh, mostly Imperial, ch like, factions, but really likes magic as a general rule, you know, was always bummed out that, uh, the magic is considered inherently evil in, uh, 40k. <laughs> was fond of, uh, saying, Magnus did nothing wrong. ship for, uh... Jeez, I couldn't even tell that wasn't smooth before. Maybe the Dexter is only painted on. Shit, I forget what I was going to say. Because I forget what I was saying, you see. Play deck canopy window. No, oh, wait, no. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Fuselage armor, good. Light deck armor, really important. Protects the crew. Canopy window, also important. The pilot needs to fucking see. Another oh oh there are big splotches over here. Oh dear. Oh I see. This wasn't getting it. You know, a bunch of people were grumpy, but I think that's mostly about, uh, with this DLC, I mean. But I think that's mostly about, uh, thinking it didn't come with enough things, enough sections. Or maybe they thought, you know, it was, uh, just the high price was too high for what it offers. Personally, I happen to think this is a, uh, 
about as good uh, as good a uh, exploration of 40k as you can do through the medium of Power Wash Simulator. Fuck. Oh my. No! Awesome. Let's see. Main wing tip lights. Oh, main wing, yes. Out of my way, I'm important. Ooh, good guess, me. Could have been the other way, of course. Then, well, then I guess we do the cannon and then the vertical stabilizer. Oh, no, wait, the cannon has the thing on it. Right, 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 right. That's why it's last, not because it's uh, at the top. Okay, here is what I am going to do. I'm just going to start off with a giant scaffolding, and I am going to place it right next to this giant wing as best I can. on me either. All right. In the name of the Emperor, I cleanse thee. back down. Yes, good. Oh, shit! Ah, good. <laughs> I held backwards and fell onto a, uh, lower platform. And it's a nice thing with this just being a pile of platforms on top of each other. Yeah, too high. Oh, feel that slowness. That is satisfying. And now I'll move up a bit. Fare thee well, smiley face. Believers know that machine spirits need not mouths to be happy. Oh yeah, this is 100% what this giant scaffolding was intended for.
Oh, right, yeah. Guess I have to go back down to the ground. Around. Uh, where do I want to put this? Over here. That's pretty good. I'll just have to jump onto the damn thing and, uh, Yes, uh... Oh, oh, yeah. So I thought it was yellow, uh, the yellow one in this lighting. I just have to jump onto these things and get the, uh, the, the scraps left over up close. Not that I don't think that Games Workshop insisted that this skin for the, uh, the Tech Priest only be usable in these levels. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure they would do that. They're very litigious. But... At the same time, I can totally understand why they would do that. Like, I would also expect that you can't be the silly fish guy from the Spongebob section in uh, a regular level. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I suppose I should confirm for Justin's sake that when I went to the, uh, the skate park level, uh, you know, to reset the scaffolding and such, uh... When I went to the skate park level, my, uh, clothing selection consisted of the, uh, original one I started with, the, yeah, the blue outfit I started with, the green outfit I bought, and the, uh... The outfit that looked like a knitted sweater from the Holiday 2023 event. When I, uh, cleaned off Santa's workshop and saved Christmas. You're welcome. Ninety-five percent. these guys have ever, like, taken a step backwards, like, say, here, and then fallen down the stairs. Because, you know, in real life, you don't remain perfectly vertical no matter what. Vertical, vertical, upper vertical stabilizer tip light. Take that, you fuck! Oh boy, all these little bits. Okay. Banzai! Oh shit, I didn't even think about this side. Stabilizer rudder cleaned. I didn't even know that was a separate piece. I, mean, I can see it's a different color, but. There it is. Just to get the, uh, the, the differentiation there. Oh, 
I thought I had it for a second there. No, that was the mount for the stabilizer, the thing it's sitting on. Oh no, the timer. Oh, but I'm so close! Tell you what, I'll get the stabilizer, and then next time, we work on this Hyper Mega Cannon, or whatever it's called, Turbo Laser Destructor, and, uh... Then I guess we uh, look for all the bits we missed. Turbo laser destructor filtration systems, the only thing left on the ship I touched literally none of. And most of these uh, things I haven't cleaned yet are uh, really high, too. I did the thing again. Stop. Mm. It isn't B, it's, it's uh, well, start. Oh, boy. Ooh, that was really good, actually. There we go. One stabilizer cleaned up. Didn't get the tip, though. jump. And that's the other tip light. And that's the tip. Ninety-five percent. Holy fuck. Hey, you know what? Maybe we can finish this. I I don't know. What else do I have on here? Uh, okay, this all this is all stuff from the turbo laser destructor. Uh, fuselage armor, two out of no, uh, four, but it says ninety nine percent. Oh shit! Well, of course, it's the armor right beneath the giant cannon. gotten better at pointing the blade of water exactly where I want it to go. There we go. Uh, I'm still not amazing at it. This episode went on for as long as it took, so I'm going to cut it off right here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next exciting episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator when we bring the Warhammer 40,000 Special Pack DLC to a satisfying conclusion. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!